yeah so varsity is basically just like freedom galore my first advice on freedom is use it i'm not discouraging anyone who wants to go to their man's house or anything girl you to you she a baddie she knows she attempts she a baddie with her baddie friend hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you've never seen this face before hi my name is prudent um and in today's video i'm gonna be spilling some tea um yeah i'm gonna be spilling some tea on <laughs> a varsity life um yeah we're definitely gonna dive in and dig in as to whether is varsity actually worth it like do we actually find our soulmates um in varsity um are the parties as crazy as people um say they are or like you know when like um your sisters or like cousins say booty like in every like minor inconvenience that happens when they are back home from varsity and they're like oh i wish i was at dress i wish i was like back at dress or like maybe a song plays and they're like oh like is the varsity life epic like that that's yay yay people hype it up so much i've only been in varsity for only like one semester <laughs> yeah um i know like some people will think oh like i don't have the expertise or whatever um to actually just like comment or like say because like what varsity life is really about but i personally feel like i've definitely experienced um some things and i've, I've observed something and with that good collection of things i definitely do have like very good advice that i can offer people um i can definitely talk a lot about like varsity especially considering the fact that i'm actually one of the people who came to varsity with like a lot of expectations of how varsity life is like or like what my varsity life will look like you know i had like a lot of expectations so in this few months since i've been here i've definitely been keeping tabs as to whether some of the things that I actually expected from this experience are true or not and I feel like I can talk about that so yeah this video will be made up of my um, opinions um, experiences and observations of what I've observed um, so yeah um, so basically how my video will be structured I'm basically gonna have like different categories um, of different things that make up varsity life um, and in each category I'm basically gonna explain how it actually is like in real life in varsity or how is it different maybe from high school or whatever and then I'm also gonna give advice about that specific um, category or topic yeah so yeah the first category um, it is academics um, yeah basically I'm gonna talk a little about like varsity academics when you actually think of yourself in matric um when you think about diversity you you don't think that you'll drop the ball you'll think that you'll remain um just as smart when you get in varsity um you'll hit your distinction just as much as you did in high school and stuff like that you know because nobody believes that um or wants to believe that in the near future they're basically gonna start flanking classes and like um, doing badly everybody believes in themselves and you know everybody thinks of themselves and oh like in varsity when i need when i'm able to nail it in high school in varsity i'm still gonna nail it but on the contrast side of that on the contrary um you have people who actually just like go to university and they complain every week and they're like it's so so hard and yeah like there's no such thing as distinctions in varsity like you will never pass with distinctions so enjoy your distinctions in high school you know how like yeah people definitely who are in varsity they definitely like um demotivate you and they make you feel like yeah in varsity it's there be to that so there's no such thing as like distinctions and stuff like that is it a is it b like um is varsity so hard that you cannot even attain distinctions or are they or you can actually go to to varsity with your potential and do well you know like it's not biggie like you know your brain will adjust and stuff like that so first of all i'm gonna explain like how varsity academics are 
are like um so basically i'm gonna explain by comparing to like um high school academics so in high school um you have a teacher right you see your teacher from monday to friday um on their period every single day um the teacher will explain all the topics and teach you every single day um you do classwork homework to train you for like the tests that are coming um and you probably do that for like a month two months and then after that month or two months or two and a half months only then at the end of the term you're writing tests and stuff like that um yeah in varsity it's not really like that um in varsity you have lectures and you have assessments right you have your lectures and then you get assessed um so basically you'll see your lecture probably like um one to three times um in a week so yeah you're basically like three times is like the maximum times also there's no classworks and homeworks as you might know so yeah and the assessment parts you get assessed every single week um or almost every single week and those quizzes most of the time they count for marks sometimes it's not quizzes it's like assessment it's assignments um so yeah varsity is actually very like kind of like more fast paced as compared to high school which is the first thing that actually makes varsity really hard like the fast pace the second thing is majority of the work you actually have to do it yourself and like in high school like i've said in high school you'll spend time with like your teachers like an entire month and you have like extra resources like classwork and homeworks to kind of actually get help you get used to the workload in varsity you don't do that like you literally study you write you study you write um practicing is on your own and you know so that's the second thing the third thing um a pass mark of varsity is 50 percent it's not 30 percent like in high school so which kind of does make things like a bit more stiff in a way um for some people for some people so which brings us to the question which i actually asked when i started talking about academics in the beginning is, is it possible to actually manage um the academics and still get your distinctions or are you just doomed for life and you have to say bye bye to like distinctions in high school um yeah it's a myth the thing of like would see yeah in varsity there's no distinctions like your distinctions you the last time you couldn't see them was like high school so yeah um in varsity definitely definitely it is possible to get like as many distinctions as you want as long as you actually work hard and stay on top of your work best believe that you're actually gonna still get your distinctions and be fine but and this, that's a huge but um it kind of depends on the course you know then again it depends on the course um so some courses are actually manageable some courses are harder um i do education which i think is like a manageable course i'm not saying it's an easy course i'm saying it's manageable you know um but co some courses are harder like engineering actual sci actual yeah actual science um those courses are actually just like kind of harder so yeah it is possible when you're doing more of like the harder courses that you actually just like go from being like a a student to actually just like barely passing i'm not even saying just passing with like the minimum i'm saying barely passing you like so yeah like that's the reality of like hard courses um they are the ones where you actually just like go from being like an a student to like yeah also when your course does not really match like your intellect um what i mean by that is we is like um some people i believe like some people are actually just like smart when it comes to math and those type of subjects and some people are just smart like on theory based subjects and stuff like that um so when you're a person who actually is smart with like theory and that type of stuff and then you go to like um a course that's like based on math and physics and stuff like that um yeah that's most of the time that does not go very well in varsity yes in high school you can tag it out yeah maybe you like um you smart with words but you go to physics and do numbers and you tag it out and you actually make it out in varsity chances of you making out actually just kind of like decrease you know it's it becomes most stiff for you when you actually just like do those kind of like hard courses and you actually don't have the talent for them i could say in a way or maybe you just don't have <laughs> The capacity for them so yeah the distinctions are possible but actually going from an a student 
to yeah the bottom is also very much possible my advice for actually just like varsity academics and how to actually stay on top of them like i explained earlier right um varsity academics is divided into two it's divided into lecturers and assessments or being assessed right um the first um thing that i want to focus on is like the lectures i would say if you have like a course that's just like manageable you know the courses that are just like okay that are not like hard hard like more engineering um i would say attend your lectures like 70 percent of the time to like 100 percent of the time you know yeah attend at least 70 percent of like your lecturers so people have this thing of saying guti oh when i go to why should i go to like lecturers because like when i get there you'll find like slides and the lecturer just reads the slides and then later on i have to like read the slides on my own anyway so why am i going to that lecture um you go into that lecture because you have nothing better to do let's be honest um as a city students um we literally don't have anything better to do usually when we actually miss lectures you either be sleeping or you're watching netflix so i would advise instead of just like spending your time on just like netflix or sleeping you know just wasting time just go sit at that lecture all right um when that lecture reads like the slides of like that topic and whatever at least your brain will catch something i promise you you will literally catch one or two things you know you live the room knowing probably knowing the topic probably knowing what the topic is about and probably knowing like a few points from the topic from just sitting there and just listening you know so yeah don't rule like going to classes out do go to classes at least like 70 to 100 percent of the time the second reason um why I encourage going to classes um, is because like lecturers have this thing of like making important annou announcements or maybe giving important tips for tests or whatever um, during or like after the class and you aren't in class you're not gonna know those things so and those things might be very helpful to you uh, when you have to write a test or whatever so do attend classes you don't have anything better to do the second part um, is like the assessment parts right um, so what I would advise Nen, um, is submit everything submit everything even if the quiz could be five questions even whatever it is it's multiple choice questions submit everything that needs to be submitted everything everything that counts towards your marks make sure you submit it make sure you submit it don't miss any marks and how to stay on top of your game to actually submit please have a calendar if not a calendar a diary you don't have to buy like a real calendar you don't have to buy a real diary you can just buy like um small um exercise books you know these tiny exercise books or just like a 72 page whatever you actually feel comfortable with and please write all your dates all your due dates down make sure you're keeping track of all like your due dates right so that like you know you don't miss submissions just because you did not know the due dates or you forgot or something like that so now you find yourself not submitting something that counts for like 50% of your grade or like 30%. You know, that that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. So please don't do that. I know like um, universities do try to like help students kind of like stay on top of their dates. Probably, um, well, for example, at GP, they send us emails. Or they do have like the section on ClickUp where I can see um, all my due dates. But... I would personally advise that you primarily rely on yourself um, in terms of like the submission dates and everything. Um, reason being, um, first of all, like things like um, the websites, they glitch sometimes. You know, I've seen ClickUp glitch. So just to be safe, just primarily rely on yourself to actually just have like a diary separately where you write on paper like your due dates and everything. Oh, the last advice that I'm actually forgetting. Um, every single time when you have like an assessment or you have to be assessed um, on whatever it could be like a quiz it could be multiple choice questions that you're being assessed on it could be anything that you're about to be assessed on please study before you take that thing even if you have to take it at home or whatever you don't have to deep study study for everything but just look at the just look at the work material or like the material that you're going to write about before you actually start writing the thingy because you will fail you will fail 
you'll fail lana thinking oh i'll just see the test and then no please please try studying or please try preparing on some sort what i've noticed a lot people in varsity actually just like don't want to study like people don't want to study and you'll find them complaining because oh the test was hard blah 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 and to only find that person did not even study you know like the second category that i want to touch on it is social life yeah so when you all, all actually think um of like our varsity um kind of like life or experience we think of ourselves i'm um, having okay let me not say all of us because i don't want people coming for me but yeah most of us actually think of us um meeting new people making new fun friends that we actually connect with doing fun things with our friends i don't know about y'all but i like things and when i see those girls on social media wearing heels and dresses and they're going to restaurants with their friends like that's what i want for myself and i know that's like what a lot of girls actually want for themselves you know like to make those kind of like sweet friendships you know now you kind of grown ups with your friends you chill at restaurants and stuff like that <laughs> is that shit even possible like does that haven't happened for everyone or is it like a selected type of people that happens to you yeah let's let's talk about this let's talk about it so making friends in varsity is actually very hard let me let me yeah i'm just gonna give it to you plain and simple making friends in varsity is actually very hard as compared to making friends in like high school or primary or like yeah what just in school it's easier to make friends there as compared to like varsity because in school when you're in school right um the environment kind of like forces you um or the environment makes it easier for you to actually just make friends um because you have your desk mates right um or whatever even if it's not a desk mate like a person who's sitting at like a near bed desk you know by you in class and you talk to that person for two weeks and you know the bond is actually built and now you're friends or like your classmates you with them from monday to friday every single week um you get used to them very quickly university is actually very different you sit into like um a different person every single day in like your lectures you see so many faces every single day on campus as compared to high school like in high school you you can even know the entire school who's who who's who um in varsity um at up i know like first year students just first year students um alone they are more than eight thousand um and then you still have third years you have still have fourth years you still you know and in high school probably like the entire school um there's only two thousand of you so it's, it's kind of hard i have just because like there's just like so many more people and in high school you know like the bonds are actually built by um getting used to the people because you see them every day in varsity when you have to make friends you need to actually just like approach people say hi how are you then like you have to talk with that person and see if you actually have things in common and if you vibe and then you can start building a friendship it's very hard it's very different so yeah so which brings me to like my advice as to how like you can kind of like make friends in varsity especially as a first year uh, my advice would be use the orientation week first week and second week so usually people when like first years get here they usually use like those three weeks to actually make friends usually after the first week the orientation week first week and second week people have their people people have clicks people already have friends people know who they sit with in, at lunch so yeah everybody just arrived in like at this new university in a new town so everybody is looking um for a friend so everybody is available or like majority of the people they're like available they need friends so it's just easier when all of you just you know you keep on meeting these people who don't have friends you don't have friends yeah it makes the entire process very easy and yeah as compared when you're just trying to make friends like later on in the year people already have like their own friends like so they don't really care about like making new friends some of them because they already do have like that one two three friends so yeah definitely use like the first three weeks to actually just like try to like make friends as many friends as you can especially if you're an introvert also my second advice um is to actually put yourself out there put yourself out there like um 
do like try talking to new people and just trying to like make friends i know it's actually just like very awkward for most people just like randomly going up to a person and you know starting a conversation but yeah you're not gonna make friends if you actually just don't push yourself so push yourself um yeah if you actually just see something funny just say a joke um as an icebreaker and then people laugh and you start talking to them or whatever way you actually think might work but yeah try it don't don't be like me don't just sit on your bed the entire day um do try like doing new things going out um you'll definitely meet people like around and you'll make friends also another type of advice i'd like to give you um is like the important type of friends that you actually just like need in varsity so i live with like roommates right and if you're like me and you live with like roommates right um i would tell you that i would tell you to make it a priority to actually get along with your roommates um even if you could be friends with them that's great you don't have to be tight besties with them but make sure that you actually just like very friendly with your roommates because they're just like the people who are gonna make your life easier especially considering the fact that you're gonna share like a space with that person so yeah your peace in a way kind of depends on them you know in a way kind of depends on them because if they're just like a menace um the entire year because you're not friendly yeah like your your peace will be affected and you will not be you know content and happy in your own space so just be friendly with your roommates you know um, also they do make your life easier in like some ways you can ask them for favors um, maybe if maybe if you want like a package maybe like your package is gonna be delivered delivered right and you're at school and you can ask your roommates and say oh if you're gonna be home can you just like be on the lookout for my package I'm not saying please please don't bother your roommates by asking you know like grand favors or when Anjay every single day you're asking for a favor no but like you know those little favors you can like um, the second type of friends that I think maybe you should have um, is people from your course or from who do like the same modules as you. Um, reason being, those are the people who are actually gonna help you also with like your studies. Also, again, you don't need to be tight studies with these people. Um, yeah, the relationship can strictly be about academics and stuff like that you know um but yeah definitely i do advise that you have like friends who are doing the same course as you they're the people you can relate to number one in terms of like um go with the academics in terms of um go with scholar they're the people who are gonna understand you because they're doing the same thing as you and they're the people who are gonna be able to help you best because they're doing the same thing as you Duh. so yeah definitely make friends from your faculty from your course from your modules so yeah and also do try to have like um friends who you, who you have like common interests with and yeah because those are the friends that you're gonna have like fun with you're gonna yeah you know when you're with them it's like a fun time the other people are gonna take the stress off you you know the third category we're gonna get to um it is freedom um, yesterday is actually June 16th, so freedom is coming tomorrow. Let's talk first about like living alone. Actually, let's not start with freedom. Um, how's living alone? Like moving to a new city with new people and living alone. Um, honestly, it's not that scary. I promise you. I know a lot of people actually just like um they choose not to go to varsity or like their parents actually forbid them from going to varsity just because of the thoughts of like my child just like living alone it's actually not that scary it's actually not that scary um moving to a new city um and living on your own it's not that scary it's not that hard you definitely will need to learn like a few things um about living on your own but i definitely think that a person who's 18 years old is definitely capable of living on their own you'll be fine please go to varsity please don't let the thoughts of living alone demotivate you now let's talk about freedom again let's go back to freedom uh the freedom like i said it is there and it is a lot you literally go wherever you want whenever you want be wherever you want at whatever time you want you can go um nobody will question you let me give you advice on freedom my first advice on freedom is use it 
use it um it's the first time in your life you actually just like are so free when you go back for holidays and you're back to like your curfew of, of six o'clock at your mom's house you definitely gonna um you're definitely gonna regret not using that, that freedom um while you were still at risk so please but of course my second advice will be use it responsibly please use it responsibly so that you don't get off track you don't get off track and forget that you're in school lana um you don't um hurt yourself or like get yourself hurt you know because like you know things happen when you get too excited and you do things over man you know you're inviting problems when you're actually starting to act like that please be responsible and actually also use it with limitation but definitely use it and when i'm saying use it name I'm not saying go sleep over at a boy's house every weekend no but you can't do like a sleepover with your girls because i know with like us being black and everything like our parents don't allow things like sleepovers and stuff like that even if it's just like a, a friend who's a girl they don't want sleepovers they don't want to hear anything so this is like your first time ever in your life that you can actually try sleepovers like you can do a sleepover with your friend and you can have popcorn talk you know watch movies and have that you know experience of like a sleepover maybe just go out to dinner because i know also big parents don't they don't want us to go out at night so for a change don't go out with your friends to lunch go out with your friends to dinner and come back at like midnight come back at 11 come back at 10 or whatever you actually choose you know okay so the next category that i'm going to get to is the finances <laughs> okay so um, this is also another like huge step um, or step up when you get to varsity um, most of us definitely don't have like a lot of money <laughs> or like finances that we handle like prior to varsity like literally um, the only money that you handle is that those few hundreds um, of that and that but in varsity you're literally the person responsible for setting your budget deciding like what um, how much goes to where and stuff like that you're literally just like the person primarily in control of all like the finances of your household <laughs> yeah but yeah you're the person primarily responsible for like all the financial decisions in your life and i feel like that is like a huge step um so the the interesting parts about like university right um especially for people who are using bursaries and stuff not even just people who are using bursaries even people who get sent money from home maybe they're like self-funded and stuff you usually just have to choose Uti. do you want to dress and look good or do you want to eat you know um yeah so it's it's it, yeah it's very tricky there <laughs> that do you want to eat or do you want to buy a frontal and look pretty or do you want to buy your heels and dress and go to like a restaurant or do you want to buy food and eat till the end of the month so yeah it's yeah most of us are actually just like faced with that choice so i think this um yeah is a personal choice um for me personally i believe in both so the few advices that i have about like um, um actually navigating this type of problems this type of like problem of like decision making i would say number one when you buy groceries just try buying cheap like buy the cheapest possible thing that you can buy like don't buy expensive brands try buying like try switching to like cheap brands i know again you used to use two ply but please please give one ply a chance just give just give it a chance um also take out please please cut down on take cut down on take yo take out will finish your money cut down on takeout i feel like um on takeout you should be very strict with yourself because um yeah it's very tempting to like buy takeout till your money is like finished finished and you haven't bought groceries so you definitely need to be strict with yourself what i would advise is buying like one takeout every week just like four takeouts in a month you know you can make it a thing you you buy takeouts every saturday saturdays you don't cook you eat takeout or, um yeah and also just like try finding ways where you can like balance your expenses where you can still have where you can still buy yourself like the nice things um like the hair or like the clothes or like whatever whatever you actually want to buy with like your money like not everybody's into clothes some people um have hobbies that and their hobbies are expensive and or like some people go out with their money so yeah try finding a healthy balance between buying um your basic needs or like your necessities and also 
spending your money on like experiences and like things that you want the majority of your money must go to basic needs or necessities and then you can squeeze that here and then um yeah and also don't finish your money don't eat your money till it's zero rands um yeah do save some money um on the side or leave some money just a little bit of money because you never know you know with emergencies um yeah they come out of the blue you know and sometimes they need money and you'll need that emergency cash like where are you gonna get it another important thing that i need to touch on when it comes to like finances um is don't compare yourself <laughs> one thing about like being in university name um you literally go to school with people from all different type of classes all different type of backgrounds and stuff like that please try not do not compare yourself too much to like other people who say oh like people around here have this and that and that now bro, focus just on yourself don't try competing with them that's the most important thing because at the end of the day you're the one who's gonna be spending all your food allowance on buying clothes trying to compete with people who eat whatever they want when they're at home the second thing is you don't know where people's monies come from you don't know where people get their money you know some people could be stealing drugs number one some people could be having places some people could be selling do you know what they're selling you know if you want to make like your own extra money you can also get like a campus job a side hustle um, and stuff like that so you can go to youtube and just research like um how to make money as a student you can teach english online if you made it this far oh my god i just want to say that i am in love with you because i understand that this video is way too long and i also had like more clips about like more topics um topics about relationships glow ups and varsity um and just many more topics that i could not include in the video because it was way too long like i said like it was getting out of control but if you actually want to know more about like those certain topics you can leave questions down in the comment section below and i will definitely definitely make a varsity q a um for anyone who's interested again i love you so much for making it this far so yeah i think i'm just gonna end the video here so i love you love you love you so much for watching um i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found it educational um yeah and helpful or whatever um yeah i will see you in the next one Bye. Like damn, she her move. Like damn, she her move. Like damn, she her move.